Hello, people. This is Barry from Our Wave, and uh, today, as you can see, we're gonna take a look at the S and P. Uh, a little spoiler: tomorrow, so I'm gonna follow last week's order and try to be consistent. Tomorrow is gonna be gold, so stay tuned for that, or subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Now, before we get started, I want to address a comment um, I got the other day on the Nvidia video, which I will link you to, um, as usual, top right on the screen. And uh, it was pretty interesting comment from uh, a very frequent commenter, if I can say that, uh, of mine, which I, as a, all comments are appreciated. Um, so feel free to comment anytime in the video if you have any questions, or you can just join the Discord and we can chat there. Now, uh, the comment says, as you can read, um, so it was about NVIDIA, so, but it applies to uh, many other things. Now, I started on the NVIDIA account on the weekly, I believe. Okay, and uh, as you can see, the comment is a lot about how on lock scale, which it's what you're looking at right now, right now it's lock scale. Obviously, this move here, which if you look at the price, we're talking about cents. Uh, but again, um, we've had one stock split for sure, one to 10. I don't know if there were more stock splits, so, what you read as 50 cents once was uh, five dollars um, and it could have been more uh, but um, you can see here and, and the point is uh, you know uh, if, if you put this on exponential the point is people don't care about what happened here so long ago which it's not that long ago but it applies to like indices or like stocks that have been around for much much longer um, and then also about the, the there's the comments you can see uh, about the log scale for for using um, for, for measure and then lastly this is a comment about the psychology about um, wave four and twos about wave two you know wave four uh, giving you some sort of a distribution and wave two is carry now if if you think about there's the rule of alternation or guideline, kind of whatever you want. There's alternation, right? So alternation says if two is going to be sharp, then four is going to be sideways and vice versa. If two is going to be sideways, four is going to be sharp. So obviously a sharp movement is what you would call scary and a sideways movement is what you call consolidation, uh, distribution, call it whatever you want. Um, so you know, wave two and four being, you know, they're usually described, you know, many times wave two is sharp and four is sideways, uh, but they can, you know, they're interchangeable. Um, as you have your alternation, doesn't say wave two must be sharp and wave four must be sideways. So that also um, something to, 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 you know, to clear. And then the, uh, uh, the thing about using log uh, when it comes to measurements, uh, it's all about using, you know, percentages. I, uh, percent, see, uh, it, it, if I want to, you know, measure something, uh, I would see this will give me a 68% move. Now, if I take that length and look for equality, Obviously, quality is going to give me 16% move. Now, that is not going to happen if I look at um, if they're not putting scale. Um, but so what we want to measure is we want to measure the price movements um, and we want them to be equal. Uh, that's why this is the, the best type of measurement. Um, and it's something that you will lose if you were into to, to use a, a log scale. Um, I mean, not a log scale, but if you were to measure I mean, no, sorry, okay. If you were to measure this, and I don't know if it's set as log, might be set as log, yes. So here, this is clearly longer than this one. But in reality, once again, this was a 68% move. This is a 25% move. You wanna measure the, the percentage, the move is measuring percentage. So we'll, this will give you f uh, a false idea of the actual, because, uh, 
what 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 it does when you when you don't use log scale, it's going to uh, use dollars. It's not going to use percentage. So here, as a matter of fact, if you take this, it's a twenty-three dollars, as you can see, twenty-three dollar move, and this is a thirty-eight percent move. So it, it's that's why it appears longer. But in reality, if any financial piece of literature is you, you always look at returns. You never look at price. You only look at price uh, on, I mean, you look at price for certain things when it comes to pricing. When you want to price something, you look at price. When you, But most of the time, you're looking at returns. So you measure returns, and you want equality in returns. Um, so that's why this is misleading. So I hope that addressed something. Uh, I will leave you time stamps so if you want to skip that part. Now, God, the S&P, I got to go fast. Um, so... Long-term count, I will leave you the previous link to it. Um, now, from here onwards, so from two of, so from 09, uh, I think I also mentioned that there's, there's uh, I have a few different long-term counts. One is this, super bullish, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, infinity and beyond, possible. That's the one you saw. Um, so that's similar. That's also pretty aggressive, oh, sorry. That's also pretty aggressive. One, two, one, two. And then this one is the most conservative one. One, two, sharp, sorry, sideways wave two, sharp wave four, upside in five, invalidation stands right here because wave th f three is shorter than one, hence wave five might be shorter than three, otherwise you have wave kind of invalidation. Uh, possible. Uh, oopsie. Which one is gonna be? I have no idea. Uh, what I know is that we will now dive into the intraday, um, and uh, not only that. Okay, so oh god, I messed up. Okay, so my preferred count is this one. Um, if we take a look at the Nasdaq as well, um, which I will link you. The, I will. You can go find that video on the channel. Uh, I appreciate if you watch. I need your watch time. Thank you very much. Um, now here, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Down, up. Now the Nasdaq uh, and also the S&P. They're on in the pre-market. They're up one percent. The S&P one point four percent. The Nasdaq. Now, I have reason to believe uh, this upside is just a bounce off Friday. And we're going to close in the red today as well. Uh, now, this is pure speculation. Usually, if Friday closes in the red, Monday will do the same. Um, and vice versa, if, if it's Friday closes in the green, Monday will do the same. Now, so obviously, three down, three up, three uh, five down. Now, it could turn out to be a triangle, that's possible. Uh, and it's also what's kind of looking like on the NASDAQ, especially on the CFD. So the futures market. Oh, that's too much. Daily is enough. So if you look here on the NASDAQ, it does look like it, it gives you an idea it could turn out into triangle. Um, so I would overall, I mean, I'm, I'm talking a lot of time, uh, but to say that um, this is my preferred count. Can this wave four be a bit of a stretch compared to this wave two? Yes, I agree. Um, my alternate would be this one. There's no wave count invalidation because wave one is here. So we missed invalidation by the dollar, as you can see. One, two, three, four, extended fifth, A, B, C, get back here. Uh, at 5k, find support of 5,000, and then take off. That would be the dream come true. Um, will it happen? I don't know. Um, the way things are going, um, I would. I mean, we're starting to see some. I don't even know if to call this panic or not, um, or just a profit. It, it, it might have started as a profit taking phase. Um, if we start to see fear, then that's good. That's a good indicator, then we can buy. Which obviously none of this as usual is, is or will be financial advice. Um, but uh, yeah, 
I'm I'm looking for downside, whether it's a wave four as a triangle, or just a wave C as a wave two, or just a wave C as a wave four, uh, CO four, and then upside. Um, as long as you stay fi above five k, there's no reason to be extremely bearish. Um, and uh, if you look at the major components of the S&P, which I do the tech video also every week, you can go find that in the channel. Uh, it's looking like uh, we, we are missing some more downside. Now, that being said, um, I wish you a happy week and uh, subscribe if you don't want to miss out. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.